Hi, this is Dr. Lou Jacobs. The spine is a very complicated beast. It's got over 120 joints, it's got discs, it's got hundreds of ligaments and tendons, it's got all these muscular attachments, the ribs are attached to part of the spine. Most importantly though, it's designed for mobility and it's designed to protect the spinal cord. But again, with all those moving parts, there's a lot of room for potential error whether it's a disc herniation or arthritis in the joints or inflammation around the joints or a host of other problems. Michael Schwartz today is going to show you how to keep your spine mobile, to keep the pelvis that attaches to the sacrum and the spine mobile. He's going to do it in a healthy and creative way that's going to bring you greater mobility and better spinal health. Spinal hygiene is critically important. You can't replace your old spine with a new one like you can your old teeth with false teeth or implants. You've got to take care of the one you got. Hello, I'm Michael Schwartz of the Workout Lab in Lone Pine Aikido with another video on movement research. We're going to look at movement and rotation through the hip. If you have any back trouble, if you have any knee trouble, if you have any ankle trouble, oftentimes it's the result of loss of mobility in the hip. Remember, our body is one central axis. It's sheathed by a double helix of muscles. It's connected to four limbs. Each of those limbs is also connected by a double helix of muscles. So we're going to work on connection. We're going to work on taking slack out of the body. All the way down. Bring the feet flat, bend the knees slightly. Bring the arms out wide. Here. I'm slowly allowing my knees to fall side to side. I have internal rotation of one leg, external rotation of the other. I'm keeping my feet in contact with the ground. I feel that roll from the edge of the foot through the heel to the other edge of the foot. What I want to feel is a very relaxed rotation. Notice no movement up into the rib cage. Arms are out. I can Feel the connection from the shoulder through to the opposite hip. No movement there. From here, I'm going to extend one leg out and let it stay fixed, lengthening the central axis. I'm going to take the other leg, bend it at the knee, foot up off the ground. I'm going to rotate over. This is my internal rotation. And then come back, external rotation. Internal rotation, external rotation. The movement now starting through the center, connecting through the hip. Bring it back center. Extend the leg, pull the other leg back in working on maintaining a nice, long axis of rotation. Arms are out wide at the moment. Internal rotation, external rotation. I like to visualize the spiral chain of muscles, of fascia, of connective tissue from the foot, wrapping around the leg, wrapping through the pelvis, through the torso, wrapping up through the shoulder and attaching to 
my head. Both feet flat, now knees bent. I'll lift the legs. I'm going to take my arms, I'm going to bring my arms in, I'm going to press firmly into the ground. My hands are relaxed, no excess tension, but pushing the elbows down, pushing my shoulders down, pushing my shoulder blades down. So that I get a nice amount of support. Very slowly, with the legs staying together, I rotate to one side. I exhale. I push through that arm and feel that spiral. Inhale as I bring it back up. Thighs right here perpendicular to the ground and rotate back over to the other side. So we're taking that initial rotation that we started with and now having the abdomen do more work. We lifted the legs off the ground, so as we rotate, the abdominal musculature has to support the additional weight. We don't have the ground helping out with weight going there through the feet. And now I'm going to reach that leg all the way over. As I do so, my trailing arm internally rotates. And then as I rotate back, I swing the leg through, and I allow a natural spiral movement to occur. I'll bring it back center, lift up the other leg slightly, reaching across. Remember, the trail arm internally rotates. One more, bring it back center, bring both knees up, the feet flat, deep breath. To get up from a supine position safely, roll onto your side. Use the top arm for support. Use the bottom arm and press so that as I lift right here, my vertebrae are supported. I lift. And I sit up nice and tall. This is Michael Schwartz. Once again, thank you for watching this video on movement research. Today, we were looking at movement through the hip and lower back. If you have any or have had any lower back trouble or issues, if you spend a lot of time sitting, a lot of time seated in the car, seated at work. The movements that we show today were to try to help open up, loosen up, and enhance function, working on building a connected body, a supple body, a fluid body. Remember, move well, move often. Also, if you like this video, please click like, please share it with your friends. Thank you. Thank you.